everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War 3 with the Spanish Peninsula Campaign. Today we're going to drop in battle, but I thought I'd show you what the situation looks like right now. So, basically I've been running around trying to figure out how to get these drop-ins, and not really paying attention much to where enemy troops and so on are. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways... Currently, we've got our uh, armies a little bit all over the place. Oh yeah, th you are going to reinforce those areas. I'm trying to hem the French in. Because they're sending small troops through the mountain passes. So I'm trying to stop that. I'm trying to like force them to fight my big armies here. So we might be able to set up a uh, drop-in battle. Anyways, when I unturn, we're going to move into a drop-in battle because there's an army here that has pursued uh, Francisco Mina, pursued him through the woods, but they're now going to double back and they're going to fall into the, this trap. First, on their own, facing this army, wasn't even enough, but it turned even enough for a drop-in battle when I moved in the other Francisco and he actually ambushes the force right off the bat. So this time around we'll have a reverse drop-in battle where I am the one that's uh, conducting the ambush. A little bit different though because uh, he's got proper troops but at the same time I'm gonna have more troops. I think I'm gonna outnumber him by about a thousand men. Plus, of course, I am the one that's ambushing. It's a pretty good army, though. It's got 12-pounders, it's got howitzers, it's got lots of good stuff. Um, but let's not drag it on. Let's go ahead and end turn and move into the drop-in battle. And there we have it, the ambush. So, we've starting off with Francisco and his 1,100 men. He's got no cannons, but he does have three units that are able to spawn in between the deployment zone. So I can get really close to the French with this Lancer unit. I think it's this uh, line infantry and then the skirmishes. All these three are able to spawn ahead of time. He also starts off with three units of sappers. It's going to be interesting. Maybe I'll play some bombs or pay, put stakes. And then we're reinforced uh, by this army right here. Got cannons, got some, lots of good troops and so on. On the French side, we can see that there's quite a lot of cavalry. Should make it difficult for my initial army here. Um, just because the, just the sheer amount of cavalry uh, could cause a problem. The main target, I think, from the start would be the howitzers. I think the howitzers could probably... We haven't fought against them yet, but I think that could devastate morale. 12-pounder, not as much, I don't think. Really good infantry as well, like not a single uh, troop below... I mean, these are five. Yeah, one, one thing that we stand out here is there's no proper general, so that's obviously going to affect his morale a bit compared to us. But I don't, I don't really see it uh, general affecting much beyond uh, I think a three or four star I haven't really noticed that they do a whole of a lot in terms of morale but he should be a he should try and keep this dragoon then out of harm's way I don't know how much you know these kind of stand in generals do in terms of morale but um, obviously that would be bad it's got some Extra units got 70e, 69th, and 6th uh, light infantry, and then probably the most important two units. He's got two young guard units, really good. It's got uh, very high accuracy and high morale. So even though he starts off being ambushed, I think he it's uh, going to be an interesting fight. It's def definitely set up more in my favor just because we outnumber by a thousand men and I get the ambush and he doesn't have a proper general but I, th I still think it's gonna be a good fight and with that said I think we should jump straight into the fight shall we 
And there we are. I we got a drop in battle. The thing is, I've got a few troops. Then could deploy ahead of line and to try and do maximum damage. That is exactly what we're gonna do now. I ended my. The thing is, there's tons of infantry. So we're gonna just actually just sacrifice a lot of those troops. In other news, um, we'll try and prepare defenses as we'll set up. The thing is, these are gonna soak up cannibals. So I kinda wanna. You know what? Can I hit this in the woods? Or just at the edge, maybe? I can hit them... Kind of at the edges. I want to hem in his... Uh, cavalry as much as possible. From having a hard time advancing. Um, he's being generous. A lot more generous than I was. I immediately started the battle while he is uh, allowing me quite the time to set up my ambush. We're gonna put these guys we're gonna have one cheeky unit in the back hidden ready to strike should I put bombs Bombs kind of will tell. I think we'll put maybe put a bomb there. Oof, that's so way too bright, isn't it? Right, I think that's it. We'll start by setting the spikes. No, spikes. Mm. We might be better to start the attack here. Right, you know what? I'm ready. Let's go. And we start. I'll immediately attack. And we immediately deploy spikes. The thing is, we get young guards meet us in the fight. I, I sacrificed the unit. It took out the cannon. And... I think it was worth it from Square, and now you get oh shit, crap out of there. And these guys will advance. All right, let's see. Did I take it out? It's the twelve pounder. Anyways, the twelve pounder is not going to move anywhere. He's still got two howitzers though, and now my reinforcements coming in. All right, the spikes have been set. These guys will be ordered back, and these guys will be ordered up through the woods. Right. We did our initial job. Okay, he's coming in again. It's probably going to be back and forth like that. He's not going to try and... Uh, obviously, going to try and force this regiment to hold and not to uh, retreat out of harm's way let's try and have these ah here he comes again oh no it's too late this time it was too late oh shit um, can I get these guys close enough to support our men are running, sir. Mm, they're running. I'm trying to get my troops closer. I'm not sure I might be able to save them there. At the same time, I've got my general coming in. And I've got my cavalry coming in. So this is actually the army that we're supposed to take part in. I wonder if you realize it is his general unit that he's charging forward like this. 
I'm not sure the negative effect of losing a uh, a non-general general. Sir, our general is under attack. But that's still. Oh, there he goes. He just lost his general. Now notice the spikes here, and then at the edge of the woods, and then I've hidden spike there. So I've had hidden spikes right all over the place. Now I'm hoping he has missed that, and he's going to ride straight into it. Now we're just producing as much fire here as possible, hitting the young guards. He hasn't been able to deploy his howitzers. I can't see that I'm getting hit by any howitzer or anything like that. Um, he, his cavalry is advancing on me though. So it's time to kind of pull back towards the woods. I'll try to as best as possible. Uh, I'm putting my general back here behind the spikes maybe to lure them into an attack. Um, thing is, he's got more cavalry units than me. If we don't count the one up here, I'm going to send that one in now. Uh, we're going to get our cannons coming in. The main thing, I think, is we'll put the heavy cavalry in the center and then it's going to be flanked by the two smaller ones, making sure that if I send that one in, he's not going to try be able to envelop it with uh, lots of other cavalry units. Right, so we're, we're shooting at them right now. That young guard, though, that's a really good unit. Oh, I think... Oh, ho, ho, yes! My spike trap worked. Good, good. Oh, shit. That's a lot of infantry coming at us. I think these units will survive. They weren't completely destroyed. Given that I'm in the woods, I think that saves me a bit. Um, here's the rest of my force. I might actually deploy the cannons here. We're gonna do a slow kind of fighting retreat here. I'm gonna force you into or move you into square. He's uh, slowly closing in there, so I'm gonna be slowly but surely dropping back. Am I missing one of my? Oh, here, no, you're over here. That's good. So we're going to slowly be retreating through the woods. Let's get all these three together. Alright, I love the fact that I was able to uh, get that trap going. I wonder if he's seen... He hasn't actually seen my big cavalry build up on that side. The thing is, if I waste my cavalry though, I won't be able to, you know, chase his units. As long as we're in the woods, we should take less fire than he does. Alright, my cavalry's coming in. The um, cannons are setting up. The civil militia is actually such a shit unit that I, I should order them to retreat immediately. Okay, so he's uh, definitely sending his cavalry around the flank. So I'm gonna slowly force the troops back. Let's see, what if, let's see, what are my hussars? Quickly move them into the woods, move them behind the spikes. If he's quick, if his reactants try to charge, I might be able to drag this unit into the spikes. Okay, he's uh, charging. I'm gonna... I can't put them in square, but I can put them in um, like a big lob. And that will protect me from the cavalry charge and he will be forced to pull back. Okay, my hussars are in the woods. I want to bring them up behind them so I can drag him onto the spikes. His cavalry was forced down. Now, we're gonna make these into squares on the side to try and protect ourselves. And then we're gonna continue to move back. 
the really heavy cavalry unit will be moving back. Alright. We keep an eye on things. You will be forming into square there. And oh shit, they are really close here. Alright, set up over there. I'm gonna deploy the cannons. Why hasn't he, he fired his howitzers at all? I'm gonna charge the hussars. Because, or charge with my hussars. He's not really doing anything there. And I think I'm, I've got a good uh, attack angle there. Must rest a while. This square is coming under heavy fire. I'm removing them. Alright, I want to just force... Oh, there's his howitzers. My guys are a little bit scared here. I don't want to lose the cavalry unit though. And he's turning units around. So I'm going to order my cavalry to retreat there. Alright. Cannons should not be firing. Okay, we're going to move back. We fought a fighting retreat. Now I want to drag him through the spikes. See if he follows me. Alright, as we do that, the main line is ordered to fall back. Heavy cavalry well, falls back even further. I'm gonna see if I can set them up right behind the spikes. We got this unit here, it's hidden. It could be ready to strike. Alright, the enemy cavalry is slowly moving in here. I'm gonna form these guys into square. The French are falling. Currently, my cannons are not within range to fire. They're actually not really a range to fire until this kind of ridge right here. Right, my squares are dealing some damage over there. Khazars move forward. He might have spotted the. Um, he might very well have spotted the spikes. I'm hoping that, you know. By having to pay attention to a lot of things all over the battlefield, that um, that keeps him on his toes. But I think he might. He's uh, he's not going for the charge. He's got. Ooh, he's got quite a lot of cavalry over there. The thing is though, I'm at the edge of the map, so he won't be able to get past to get my artillery. We got guard infantry coming in. You will be ordered to be deploy on there. You guys. Right, squares. Or not columns. Oh he's I think he's howitzers. Yep, yeah, his howitzers have started the blasting. We just lost three men. So how it's a blast? Ooh, nasty, nasty. Thing is, I got my cavalry back here. We got this unit. It's now hidden, actually. I want to find out what he's got here. Like, could I crush his flank with a major cavalry charge going in from multiple sides. We could hit a lot of different targets immediately. I don't know how much a cavalry is lost. He starts off with five, six units, I believe. The thing is, these two should be facing front. These three should be the ones that I'm placing over here. So these two should be turning something like this. Okay, so his cavalry is advancing here. Um, I don't know about, you know, doing the full-on charge just yet. Right, I think we can might be able to hit some of these. But I'm kind of holding on. So I want to do... I'm going to do a checkered system. 
of squares like that. Okay, all his cavalry just popped up. Is he gonna do a just frontal charge? That cavalry unit is gonna get pulverized. My entire battery is now facing it. Plus, musket fire. Alright. I was hoping for a nice checkered system, but... This is what we got. Oh, sh... What is he... Ooh! He's going for mass charge. I don't think we have time to reload, do we? Some are ready to reload. I'm ordering canister fire to be fired by the guns. I'm not sure it will work. Oh, just in time, maybe? Look at that, he's got massive column coming in. Ready to try and smash through everything. The problem, of course, is he lost his general light of the bat. Oh no, would you look at that? I think he's realizing it's uh, crumbling. Alright, and we are managed to get into line. Yes, yes. He's still got a unit protecting over there. It's time to strike! There, I mean the the sapadors aren't that great of a unit. Okay, so the cavalry is being torn apart. It, a lot of, again, he's kind of losing just because the general. The thing is, though, I'm not entirely sure how much the general really affects the thing. I think we need to switch to canister here, otherwise... Uh, the thing is, pound for pound, his infantry hits harder, especially the young guard to these two units right here. Uh, as, as soon as we switch to canister, they're gone. I'm actually more interested in killing off the cavalry. Making sure that that doesn't come back. Um, with those units. But then we got this unit in the flank. Oh, I think he's, uh, he's ordering a full retreat now. It saddens me that not more traps was, were, set, were set off by that. I was hoping... Oh, retreating troops ran into this. But I was hoping for more. What's he doing? I think he's he knows this might come at him, so he's sending the uh, the voltageers to deal with that. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Yeah, you can rest when you're dead. As I usually say. So we're keeping up with them here. Trying to shoot them up in the back. Hold fire, there's uh, two reinforcing units. Yeah, he's, pre he's prepared if um, for when, the, when this cavalry unit turns up. I'm still gonna lose a lot of men here. 
Alright, let's push you in there and you will move in there. Let's keep an eye on the morale on some of these units. Oh, you're exhausted, but at least you destroyed that cavalry unit. You're very tired. Oh, his howitzer is still slowly making its way downtown. Right, he's facing that way. I think now's the time. Now's the time! A unit of epic proportion. Oh, he's... Oh shit, his howitzer just hit something over there. And that unit did not like it. It's the 70E. The young guard is forming square. However, I don't think it's enough. The young guard is faltering. And it's running away. The entire line is now faltering and running away. I'm not going to take this unit out just because I want to make sure that we don't have to face these guys again. The thing is, it's about the army composition. I thought this would be a really interesting drop in battle. It's kind of too late to realize they didn't even deploy with a proper general. And I think that's what really screws it up. Um, but you know, if he. A lot of uh, what I see here with the. Um, the howitzers. I mean, the amount of. Um, destruction they could cause I want to make sure that as many of these troops are killed in this battle I don't want a lot of these running away so unfortunately my opponent's gonna have to watch me slaughter the men for a bit But it's, um... Oh, there we go. Decisive victory. Um... It was a good battle still, but there was definitely a, definitely a definite advantage of me ambushing his force right off the bat. Uh, but let's not go on. I need to talk to him a little bit after battle, so... Let's go ahead and jump on and take a look at the statistics of the battle, shall we? Right, so here we have the proper statistics. We deployed 3,600 men against 2,600 men. So that's a thousand men difference. However, in my army, I do have this civil guys, the civil militia. They've got three morale, so I would put them definitely kind of... There's, I think they're better shots, but morale-wise... They're basically like that sort of militia unit that easily routes. You saw it in the battle, I sent the one away as soon as he got in on the field, basically. Or as soon as I noticed he was there, I told him to leave. Um, we lost 600 against 1600. A lot of this was, I think it's a compounding factor of ambush. He doesn't have a proper general. His general actually, or his standing general, falls really early in the battle. And... Um, Yeah, I definitely got a little bit worried because if you've seen the drop-in battle when I drop into his campaign, he did these massed stacked attacks against a number of my positions where he is able to break through with his charges. So I was like, oh shit. However, my cannons were able to disperse that and I think that with the cannons and the fact that he doesn't don't, didn't have a proper general there. Um, in terms of, yeah, it's the cavalry, 
been able to ride down a lot of troops. Not as many as I would like, but still. Then we actually have the general of the ambushing army. He is the one infantry unit to kill the most of the 103. Um, let's see. I want to see... As far, no, no unit was destroyed. So all the three units that deployed up front, now they lost a lot of manpower. This one's down from, from like 50 to 11. I can't remember what these had. This one's barely scraping by with eight troops, almost destroyed. Um, but yeah, I need to answer him there before he's wondering what's going on. But I hope he can bear with me. But there we have it. Um, I'm gonna, there's more French troops, so I'm gonna see if I can get another drop-in battle that isn't a, um, ambush, and we'll see, like, a proper back and forth. I think, just looking at the strength of some of the French units, especially, like, the young guards and stuff like that, a proper, you know, going at it against each other, like the three battles that I've talked about that crashed, it's going to be difficult for me. It's definitely going to be difficult when we get into those kinds of battle. With that said, let's let the end turn ride on. And take a look at what we can do more in this episode. I won the fight, but the thing about the dropping battles compared to me playing against the AI is of course... As soon as the battle is won, the match is over, so I don't get the opportunity to ride down as many. So usually quite a bit big part of the army survives, and we can see here that we did manage to take out seven units out of the army, but there's still, what, 13 that survives, and they're gaining quite a bit of replenishment, so it could be very well that we fight these guys again, so quite a bit of cavalry was lost. I think three units of cavalry, then one young guard, one howitzer, and I... Th th uh, no, let's see. The two special regiments, I can't see 70 or 69E, then one howitzer is definitely lost, one young guard is definitely lost, and then I guess from there on it's three cavalry, yeah, three cavalry units that were destroyed. Could definitely go ahead and pursue them. We even get a battle marker there for the ambush. Cesare's farmland. Um, the thing is, the AI is very reluctant to fight me. But I want to have one last drop-in battle where we, you know, no ambushes, no nothing like that. Just straight on, as many troops as possible, just clashing. And then we'll end the campaign and move over to Empire 2. Uh, doing different polls right now. Um, setting that up. I should notice here, I should make note here of the fact that one enemy army has slipped through. So it's actually quite a good force that the French have brought against me. Uh, compared to what I've actually got in town. So it could be an interesting fight here, because I'm definitely, you know, um, don't have the, I have the odds against me, even though I might have the troops, I definitely don't have great troops with um, all these infantry compared to what the French are bringing, even cavalry and cannon being brought in, even though there's their unit is a lot smaller than mine, so it could be interesting to see that. Don't think that is a drop-in battle, though. That looks more like it's going to be um, me having to play it. Can I bring these guys in? No, they're too far away. I'm going to try and see them by blocking as many of these access points as possible. And then I'm going to work for like the final main battle. But as this episode has already dragged on to about 30 minutes, I think we're just going to go ahead and end it right here. We can see that I've slowly been working with the priests and stuff. So most of Spain is now at 100%. We actually got one here that's 85. That we kind of forgot about. But otherwise, most of these should be at 100 now. Um... Depending on, I mean, I said maybe an, as an extension, 
I might declare war on Great Britain and um, the Portuguese. But I think with these drop iron battles, I think it's fine. And it looks like a lot of people are actually looking forward to the Empire um, campaign. I just need to figure out how to set up the mod, mod and stuff like that with lots of uh, infantry, big unit formations and so on. Um, but yeah. Let's not drag it on more than enough. France is about to lose their Peninsula campaign. And with that, I'll say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.